Hey everyone, this is Adnan with the uh, kind of trending videos and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure right click tool in SCCM 2012. Uh, now right click tools are third party tools that are used for ease of uh, uh, many uh, many commands that we need to run manually on the client side. With right click tools it becomes very very easy. Uh, to access many client functions right from the SCCM server. Now, uh, first of all, I'm going to show you if we don't have right-click tools, then uh, how do we do? How do we need to do certain tasks without right-click tools? Uh, so, let me connect to my SCCM server. So I've connected to my console and in devices, I can see that I have many clients here. So I have. Uh, actually, one client and two SCCM server, one DC is there. Now, this is my client machine, and on this side here is my client machine. Uh, now, this client machine is located within the same network. Uh, the way it works is the way it works is uh, that if you need to ever run policies. We know that there are policies sitting on SCCM, uh, sorry, on all SCCM clients. Uh, we can go to Configuration Manager. Within Configuration Manager, if I need to run the machine policy retrieval, I need to run this way. As soon as it is run, it is initiated, it will go back to MP and retrieve the current policy. So basically, whenever you need to force any policies, you must go to the client and do it. Now, there is no easy way to do it from the SCCM side. For example, this is the same client. If I need to do it, there is nothing here that can help us uh, 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 force those policies or maybe clear the cache, uh, clear the cache in, on the client side and do some other tasks as well. Uh, so this is where uh, right-click tools come in handy. Now, uh, now, how do you install right-click right, right -click tools? All you need to do is go on to Internet. So I'm going to go on to my SCCM server, Internet. In real environment, you might need to download those uh, from the host machine, from your client machine, and bring them to the server. So here I'm going to say Google. Jump on to Google here and search for SCCM right-click to so once you're here here I'm gonna go to actually there are two two types of right-click tools there is this one now macro right-click tools they are more advanced forms of uh, form of uh, the right-click tool but first of all I'm gonna gonna just install this right-click tool so you can go to this link Once connected, we're going to download. So here, this is, uh, there are tools. And here, I think it is mentioning many different type of tools that can be used here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to search for right, right. And right here, I can see this is right click tools right here. So make sure you're on this link and uh, click this icon, not the PowerShell right click tool, but, the, but these tools. As soon as you're here, it shouldn't be slow. Okay, so right-click tools. Right-click tools, they act like a Swiss knife. Yeah, really. Uh, so right-click tools uh, are very beneficial. They're really helpful. So in SCCM, in SCCM, SCCM is a, power, is a powerful uh, tool that can tame even the most chaotic desktop environment. Unfortunately, out of the box administrative console has some holes. Um, over the last few years, uh, I've tried to crack the oversight and make much life easier to, uh, for system admin by relieving right-click tools. 
and right click tools are combination of original FCCM SMS console action addition but with many added features so let's get down to install it so if you're on this page you can remember this page or maybe you can search and come to this website or you need to do click this link main installer save it so I'm going to save it in my sources folder in C drive I have a sources folder that is uh, that is shared uh, in this I've created another folder called tool in sources folder created a folder called tool within tool I'm going to save this now once it is downloaded because this will be downloaded in this format so we can confirm uh, so here we can right click uncompressed so right click on these tools and uncompressed so they are un uncompressed here and all we need to do is run the uh, install.exe or actually we need to run this file so but before that make sure that this is closed and run this file next 2012 server install now you need to provide your site code where can you get the site code you can get that site code from your SCCM uh, console let me show you so once it is connected it's right here your site code or you can also find it administration go to site configuration site and this is your site code and the second thing it is looking for is so first of all, I have to close this. Second thing it is looking for site server name. So my site server name is the same server where I'm sitting. 01. And even my management point is the same server. So next and next 64 bit finish. So now right click tools are installed. Now let's see. Let's start our SCCM and see what can we do from here. So I'll go to devices and right click on these now I see these tools here now before there was nothing after properties now I can see them what can I do with this so client actions I can push all these policies for example the same policy that you can do from the client side so here on the client you can run all these policies I can now push all these policies right from here like force them or you did it so as soon as I click this, it is now forcing the machine policy on them. Other than this, right click tool, you can do other stuff as well, like client logs. You can see the client logs here, and other client tools are there. For example, change cache size. So all the SCCM agents, they have local cache in which they save all the deployed applications, uh, deployed applications to them. So you can change cache sizes here. Um, so here and then you can run computer management from here you can connect to the three dollar share of that machine and sometimes you need to check that because uh, uh, because something is not being deployed on the client but if you're able to access the six dollar it means SCCM has full access to this you can connect here you can install client you can interact with from ping machine so you can do all these things right from here. You can also see the system information uh, of that client right from here. So guys, this is how we install right-click tool. Now once the right-click tools are installed, uh, and you need to do a bulk action, guys, you, you won't be able to do uh, you won't be able to do the action right from these machines collecting here. But if you need to do something bulk action on many machines, first you need to have a collection. So just like I have this collection with two machines, I can go here and then I can use right-click tools right on them. So you want to force policy on all the machines in this collection, just select this and then go here and initiate the policy. Just taking time, in a few, few moments I will get a message that the policy was applied. So this is system and info that I requested before. Because this is how we install right-click tool in SCCM 2012.
Uh, thank you for watching this video and I'm going to see you in the next video.